Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. In this video I'm going to show you how I perm my lashes at home. I'm going to be using the Diablo Lash Lift Kit. It comes with several options for the curl. A small, medium and large curl. I've tried all of them and I find that the tightest curl is just a little bit too curly for my lashes and they also don't grow out in a nice kind of way. I choose the medium option and I actually cut the silicone pads to fit my eye better normally they are with like a slight rubber bit on top here and also a little bit more kind of elongated but I find that it doesn't fit my eye so I cut out all of the bits I need to make sure that there is nothing on my eyelid the cream oil or any other products otherwise the sticky pads will not adhere really well usually I use this Rodial dragon's blood cleansing water and I just go over and cleanse my eyelids to make sure that there is no residue of any creams or any makeup. Then I'm going to take one of the rubber pads and we need to apply the glue on the other side. Let the glue dry until it gets tacky. If you apply the pad straight away I find that it just takes forever to adhere so your best shot is to leave it for a few moments to get tacky. If you're trying this for the first time, it may take you a few goes. I think it took me about three goes to do this quickly. And now I can do both eyes at the same time. But I think for the purpose of this video and so I can see what I'm doing, I'm going to do one eye at the time and then you can see the difference. The easiest way to apply these pads is if you have your mirror lower and then put on the highest points of your um, eye in the middle and quite close to the lash line. A few times I didn't quite get it right and I feel like my lashes didn't curl well just because I was too high up placing this pad. But I feel like once you cut it, it's a little bit easier to maneuver. And I press it a few times just to make sure that it's all adheres well because this will be a really crucial point. If it starts lifting off, your lashes will not be even. Okay, once it's stuck onto your eyelid, then you continue the same glue and on top of it and again you keep the glue to become tacky don't try to push your lashes onto it straight away give it a few moments to kind of take in and dry a little bit this glue is still from the first packaging and there's still half of it left this really lasts for a very long time and the only thing what I found that wasn't lasting really well and wasn't performing well after I think after like half a year is these silicone pads. The silicone pads kind of stretched out a little which I did not notice because when you use the same pads over and over you don't really notice that but uh, I noticed that my lashes were not curling as well using the same pads as they did before so when I requested a second package actually the fresh uh, pads did the job much better. So that's the only thing that you kind of will need to replace after six months. The glue have taken on a little bit and I'm going to start uh, placing my lashes on to the pad. Now I highly advise you to start from the middle because in the past I started from the outer side and then they just don't do well and when you glue them whichever way you've glued this is the way that they're going to stay for a month or two. So it's really crucial here to kind of adhere them in a really nice fan-like way. Once the middle is adhered, I'm kind of going over side and side and following the lash towards the ends. I also find that following the lash in like a C-like motion makes lashes adhere and also shape them a little bit nicer when they are released. Before I would be doing a straight up motion when now I'm doing a slight kind of a side S wave, sorry C wave and I feel like they sit better after they are curled and it's very important to take these babies from each side and join them as well. There's always one stubborn Okay, 
There are three different sachets in the kit, one, two, and three. The first one is the lift, so this will be your product that will break the natural formula of the lash and make it bend. There are several sachets in the kit. You don't need to use a full sachet for each time you curl. I use as much as I need and then I put a sealer tape over the top, seal it and keep it in a box. So this is how I make this kit. Last me over a year. The best way to get that out is to squeeze it on the cotton bud. Not overly much because you can always add a little bit more and add it on to the root of the lashes. And now you don't need to cover all of the lash in this perm. Uh, only the roots, only the area that will be creating this bend. So I will add a little bit more. My lashes are very unruly. They're usually really straight. I want to make sure that once I do it, I don't have to redo it again because all of these chemical products, they of course damage the lash. So you're not supposed to do those really often. I feel like I do it once in two and a half months. So usually this lash lift kind of lasts me for at least two months. Then it starts to look a little bit sad and then I kind of push it to a three month mark just so my lashes can recover. So I don't perm, perm them monthly, but on the instructions, it does say that you can recurl your lashes, uh, you know, every month after 30 days. Once this is done, we will need a little piece of the cling film, apply it over the lashes. Make sure that all of these lashes are covered and pressed on. Even if some of the lashes came out, like for example, my last one didn't want to adhere really well, so I make sure that I push it in with this step so everything is curling nicely. Now the key here not to get the product inside of your eye. This is the hardest part because if you apply it a little bit too much, it can potentially leak onto the eye and it's not very um, pleasant. Once you've covered all the lashes, this will create the heat. So this lash lift will activate and you know break the formula of your lash. It says to keep it anywhere from three to five minutes depending on how thick and unruly your lashes are. For me, five minutes works well. Um, anything under five minutes doesn't perform as good. I'm gonna set a five minute timer and come back. Okay, so five minutes have passed and I'm going to remove these. Now I need to remove the first step the first lash lift product as much as I can. The best um, thing to do here is to remove it upwards so you don't disturb any of the lashes that are positioned perfectly. Once this is removed, we need to apply the second stage and this one is going to be fix. This is supposed to fix the curl in place. Another chemical compound that will help your curl to stay for at least a month. And we're applying in the same way. So exactly on the same areas of the lashes, repeating all of the things we've done in the previous step. I'm also quite generous with the product as my lashes are really unruly. Once you apply this product, same story, cover it with um, cling film and also leave it for another five minutes for me or if you were doing less then the same amount of time for you. Same story. I'm setting another five minute timer and then we're going to remove it all five minutes passed and now it is a reveal. First I'm going to remove all of the residue of the products brushing upwards with a clean cotton bud and then using the makeup remover. So I'm going to use the same rhodial cleanser. If I remember correctly they don't want you to use anything that is super oily. I think this may disturb the created curl because in the first minutes or hours of the perm is the same for the hair. The hair is the most vulnerable, which means that uh, strong chemicals or even water apparently can reduce the curliness or release the back onto its original state. I am very careful here. You don't want to disturb the lash and you don't want to rip them out as well. And you also don't want to stretch the lash because it just was chemically curled so you don't really want to stretch it because right now your um, lashes are at their vulnerable stage. Finally managed to remove this. Okay. 
okay i need to remove the glue from my eyelid because i still feel the residue and actually sometimes i feel the residue up to the next day but again because for me it's really important to retain the curl i'd rather keep it and not kind of properly wash it until the day after kind of deal with the feeling on my eye it's a little bit uncomfortable and also i feel sometimes that the glue affects the lashes but again for me it's more important to retain the curl so i kind of leave them be this is why often i do the lash curl in the evening so i can just go to sleep and in the morning at least already 10 11 hours passed before i wash my face properly again of course i don't put any mascara on them the first uh, 24 hours and you already can tell the difference so this was actually a really good lash lift i can tell that all of them are kind of spread out in a fan shape and this is why it's so crucial when you apply that first layer of the glue to start pressing them from the middle and then out and out and that kind of on c-shaped uh, motion of the hand because i feel like this is when they take on the best it has been two months for sure maybe even more since my last lash lift so you can actually tell the difference this is fresh and this is old and third stage of this lash curling is this third nourishing part which is oil-like substance inside of a glycol collagen polysorbate and methylparaben i only understand what collagen is but basically this kind of a serum lash serum should kind of protect your lashes now that we have dried them out a little bit with all the chemicals now this will bring the nourishing the nourishment into the hairs so this is your last stage sometimes i take uh, sometimes i take the mascara one just generously kind of coat them to nourish them after the damage that we have performed and you let them be now try not to wash the face try not to disturb the lashes for as long as possible so this is pretty much it guys so you saw the difference is drastic if you do it right normally it does take a, a first few goes so kind of first month you may not tackle this procedure really well but the more you do it the better you will get at it and as i said before i have mastered this and i can do two eyes at the same time so if i was not recording that video that would have taken me half an hour maximum so i hope you enjoyed watching this video let me know in the comments do you guys do lvl at home if you do lvl at home then which brand are you using that works for you again i have only tried diablo they send me the first package to try out nearly two years ago and that worked magic for me so i've been using it since so i haven't actually used any other brands so if you use another one let me know that would be nice to expand my knowledge and the only upkeep that you're going to have to do with the kit is when you remove your uh, silicone pads clean them off with a makeup remover and just make sure that there is no residue so you can then put them back into the bag until the next time you need to use them and also for the mini sachets of the product as i told you before you get at least four or five uses from the sachet and you get four or five sachets in the kit so i normally put a little sellotape put a little sellotape and then kind of seal it and put it back in a bag this is how i make my kit to last me for over a year i'm gonna go on and finish the other side but i hope you found this video useful thanks for joining me and i see you on my next video